I've been meaning to make this video for a while. I boarded a takeoff on a desert dirt strip last October during a canyoneering trip with yeah. some friends. Yeah. It's a uh, sort of, I don't know, embarrassing is the right word, but it's, um, nobody wants to crash an airplane and certainly in the moment i remember just thinking like i am like crashing my airplane purposefully right now you know in the supported takeoff so that you know lots of like weird e emotions but luckily in in my case like it turned out to be a great learning experience it very easily could have resulted in death like straight up we're alive <laughs> we're alive <laughs> yeah. yep i think the last thing that i commented on here was basically me like checking out like walking the landing strip oh okay if uh if you know utah you probably don't know hanksville utah unless you're a pilot or spend a lot of time in the canyons it's sort of in the middle of nowhere utah and um three miles from hanksville on dirt back roads, middle of nowhere, um, is this uh, Angels Point landing strip and uh, No Man's Canyon. I am on a mission back to the plane to um, basically prep the plane for flight, uh, inspect the runways. Once more, we've got two runway options and um, there's a road over here that I'll be able to walk on here shortly, but there's nothing for miles. I wanted to wait until the FAA and NTSB finished. You know, they, I was actually really surprised at how thorough of an investigation um, they did. I'll speak on that. That was a really great learning experience, actually. So, yes, I'll speak to that. And mostly wanted to do just a raw, unedited clip of how I basically landed on a desert dirt strip, uh, did some intensive canyoneering with some friends. I'll uh, flip into some footage here so you can kind of um, get a feel for, for a, that. It's pretty a, epic. A spot here. So, yeah, sure. and ugh, going down there, I'm. I've got to be at least 120 feet off the ground. Anyways, I'm tired. I still got a lot of work. But enjoy the view. So this is the story. Hopefully this is helpful for other people. There's a lot of backcountry pilots in Utah. Uh, yeah, look forward to being back in the air here soon.